Let's dive back into the ring. I've put together a team that I think is going to do fairly well based on what we've learned from yesterday. And I've been pondering a, a little bit offline as well what kind of composition I want to put together. I feel like I've got something that's going to work out okay for me here. We've got our frontline crusader who, as it turns out, was not a terrible idea. It's just that that one dude who was using him probably should have put a Holy Lance on him. Uh, I'm going to give him some protection along with a little bit of extra damage when he acts first, which doesn't really matter. It's more the stun and the move resistance that we're looking for off of this trinket. And uh, he's going to be dealing a lot of stress from his zealous accusation. That's going to be his primary attack. He's not really going to be smiting all that much. In fact, I might even take the smite off. I might be so bold as to remove smite from this guy in favor of maybe like a... Oh my god. This adds a virtue chance. I didn't even realize that. I wonder if that stacks. Huh. That would be interesting. And clears horror. Yeah. Huh. You actually got a virtue today. Man, that'd be wild if I could actually like take advantage of that I like that feels like a wasted turn more than anything usually because I'd almost always want to do a zealous accusation instead of an inspiring cry but that's cool that that, that that's kind of viable now my gut says to leave smite untouched though oh my god that's buff party yeah wow that's crazy let's do that Let's use that, since I'm not so in love with this anymore. Even though we don't necessarily want protection on the Flagellant, who's going to be our second character, but we'll take it. It's not a terrible thing. He's going to be dealing a lot more stress damage as well. He's got his Exsanguinate, of course, and the Reclaim as an additional uh, buffer, I suppose, against uh, damage over time. I don't know how often I'm going to end up using that skill. He'll probably end up doing Reign of Sorrows and Punish for the most part. But it's there if we need it. The Occultist actually has a slot available for a Trinket, I just realized. But he is going to be one of the biggest tools in this build. And probably in PvP Darkest Dungeon up until they patch him. Uh, mostly due to this skill. You may have seen this uh, on Baru's team yesterday. Just doling out the harshness with the Abyssal Artillery. Horror stacks galore. Not to mention just the base level stress damage, and it hits for normal damage. And then there's this. The Stygian Embrace. Buffs the target with stealth, but yeah, you forget to note that bottom part there. Plus 50% stress dealt while stealthed. Look at this, combined with this, combined with this. We're talking about 22 brought up plus 50%, 33 dealt to two characters up front. 33 stress. With that buff applied. Hell, apply it to this. A 50% buff on Reign of Sorrows, 18 to pop on the back liners, not to mention the bleed. That's looking pretty good. I just gotta figure out what other, what other trinket I need for my occultist now, I suppose. And I could give him a little bit more survivability. Maybe something like a gladiator helmet, but that's sort of not really in his wheelhouse. I could give him, like, some dodge. I wouldn't mind this so much. Does he add stress to himself? No, I don't think he does. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe that. Do I want extra death blow dealt chance? I kind of like that, actually. I'm going to take that. All right. That works. Oh, and Plague Doctor's got an extra s slot, too. I think I might just give her this. But she's got the stress as well. Plague Grenade adds a little bit. The Blinding Gas adds a bunch. And then she's got all her Battlefield Medicine just as an additional heal. What I really like about this team is that every single character has a heal. The Abomination's heal, unfortunately, isn't automatically activated. Apart from using the uh, Exsanguinate on itself, I suppose. I could have the Redeem, too, but I don't think I really want that. Uh, Alex! I still don't know how, you say, how to say that name. Sorry, I think I've asked you before as well. Thank you for the nine months on the pile. Palin! 20 months on the pile. And Deepak! The 43. Welcome back, Alex. Got it. 
I will, I will commit that as hard as I can to my head. Thank you for the resubscriptions. All right, I think I'm good. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's try it out. The ringmaster demands a challenger. The buffoon is flummoxed. It's still a flagellant, not an abomination. Do I keep saying abomination? My bad. I don't know how I get those so thoroughly mixed up in my head. Welcome to the bear pile. Dark Knight! Welcome to the bear pile. Bear hugs if you got them. The rabble thrills. The ancestor? Blood. What? Is this a real person? That'd be dope if it was actually the ancestor. He just shows up as a random PvP opponent. The advantage is yours. Well, we'll find out if it's a bot soon, I guess. Unsheathe the old blades. Just the final darkest dungeon, yeah. It certainly looks like a weird composition. I think this might just be a bot. Act now. The reveling throne demands its portion. Let's get our bulwark out. Hmm. Oh, okay. Now, hold on. Is this a human? I think it's a person. That was pretty painful. Oh, yeah. They've got that bellow yop combination, huh? That's right. Yeah, that's scary. Okay. Well, let's see. I think I'm going to start off by trying to apply a bunch of stress to this Hellion. And that way, he can't deal a lot of his damage. Or at least, it should pr provide us, hopefully, opportunities to interrupt the Hellion's turn. That would be ideal. Alright, that's expected. Extra dodge until the end of the battle. Extra dodge specifically this turn. I think I might heal... But let's leave that for last. And let's see. She's got good accuracy, so I suppose I wouldn't be... Yeah. I don't think that's a bad idea. 20 stress on her is pretty good, too. Now she's got a bunch of DOT. She's in bad shape. He doesn't really have a way to get rid of that, either. He's pretty vulnerable to damage over time right now. Buff to the stress taken and stress dealt, unfortunately. Which means anything I want to try to do with him is going to be a little less effective. I could try to pull forward the Arbalist. That'd be pretty good. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I forgot the Arbalist actually does have the skill that cures bleed. She cannot cure blight, though. So that's good. That's not a problem. Oh, they they gave that move repost? That's interesting. Okay, cool. Act now. The reveling throne demands. Ah, oh, damn. I really gotta try to start stacking up the uh, stress on the Hellion right now. Oh, she's got the I forgot about that completely, yeah. Okay, yeah, my bad. She's got that skill. Okay, up to 42. I mean, we're still going to be able to apply them after she cures it. So it's not going to be... Oh, okay, that's an interesting move. So what do we do now? I think I can just go ahead and start stacking Horror. Abyssal Artillery is pretty good here. He does have his de stress dealt debuffs still, so this might be a good opportunity to heal. Or I could even actually do the Stygian Embrace, but that's probably not a good time. Or not a good... Uh, yeah, this isn't the best opportunity for that right now, I don't think. That was a good heal. I know Justin's probably going to do it, but if you ban Platformality 2, you're a coward. Hell no, I'm not going to ban Platformality 2. If anything, I'm picking it. It's him that's going to ban it. Go. Okay. 
Okay, okay. That blight on the on the abomination is honestly just helping me out. He could do it again. I wouldn't mind that one bit. <laughs> the buffoon is flummoxed. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that, Hells. Hopefully we can help you out a little bit here. And just an just an FYI, y'all. This will be a uh, a shorter darkest dungeon stream for today, since I do need to get my uh, my Mario prep in still. Very important. Ah, now, the reveling throne Let's see. demands its portion. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start stacking horror. Nice. A singular strike. That is really, really good. That is really, really good. He's in trouble. That's fine. Not an issue. I want him to get rid of that repost before I act. I think I'll go ahead and do a Reign of Sorrows here. Nice! Oh, that's incredible. He's in bad shape. Really looks to be saving the uh, man at arms for, or the uh, abomination for last this time. Does that clear buffs on, clear debuffs on the party, or no, that's only one character, right? Yeah. Damage debuff is tough. Oh shit. I think we're gonna get her to a check. Yep, as soon as he activates that Arbalist, that's a resolve check. That's awesome. Critting seems helpful. Why would you not ever attack or why why would you just not crit with all attacks? Right, yeah, no, that's the way to go for sure. I agree seems smart. Alright, I think I can go ahead and do this now. Ooh, crit on the fucking repost, dude. That sucks for me. Damn. I guess he was owed one. And there it is. That's excellent. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Now we just turn the man at arms and that starts a chain reaction he will probably not be able to recover from. Let's go ahead and heal up the uh, plague doctor again. Damage is unfortunate, not a lot I can do about it. It's also not a great heal. I might have wanted to actually just do an abyssal artillery there and get super greedy. I'll probably have to do Battlefield Medicine on my occultist. You know what? Let's do this. Because I'll hit the Man at Arms this way. Oh! Nice. Okay. Okay. Now we still got... Plague Doctor's Blight Removal here. She's gonna cure, that's fine. Dazed is new, yeah, Dazed is unique to, uh... Unique to PvP. I still think I Zealous Accusation here, even though it's obviously suboptimal. He's, ju he's just gonna keep that repost up no matter what. Balanced. Oh, never mind. I'm healing the occultist. Nice. Anxiety Prime. Thanks for the bits. Appreciate that, friend. Glad the bit alerts are working now. I got that all fixed up. Happy. Thank you for the support. Alright, we'll probably go for an occultist's heal. Although, oh, you know what? I really want to be greedy here, and I'm going to do it. 
impressive. Glad I did it. Gnawing uncertainty. He's in trouble. The birthplace of dread. He's in big trouble. We got to anticipate we're probably going to be running into some uh, oh boy. Injury. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Hmm. I think I will do this again. It's fine. Do, 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 do. Hellion's glass cannon, yeah. With a defender man at arms, it's working pretty well, although our build is kind of not really countering it, but it's like it's a good way to deal with it. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. That's unfortunate. Stuns are obviously insanely powerful. Uh, I'll probably do a Reign of Sorrows here. Alternatively, I go for the Plague Doctor's heal. Does he have? He's got Bellow for the kill. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't deal damage. He can't kill with Bellow. So let's do this. No! Oh my god, that sucks. God damn it, man. Alright. I was winning that, too. I know people have been having issues with crashing. That's a bummer. And that might even ruin the game for him. Yeah, I really hope there's a hotfix soon. I know there's been some issues. It's a little disappointing. He used the super ability to kill my whole party. Yeah, he just... He didn't want to have to do it, but it, he, he, I forced his hand, I guess. All right, well, let's try again. The campaign can wait. For now, Carnage calls. I like this team. I think the team was working pretty well. I think we were pretty even there, Dr. Wanderer. It looked like it could have gone either way still. Like, he was getting my back line in a pretty bad position there, and I was getting his back line in a pretty bad position. I think I would have caused a heart attack on his Arbalist fairly soon, but that probably wouldn't have been enough to kill. He probably would have had some uh, to this feeling of blood. some defenses against that for a little while. It's crazy. It seems like a lot of these games can go a long time. Well, that's a mark party if I ever saw one. Holy shit. Alright, I think I want to go for backline again. I'm just going to start with the uh, bulwark, though. This seems like the way to go. Someone just beat the darkest dungeon, right? Yeah. This goddamn music, man. I love it. It's so perfect for this. Flummoxed! Marky Mark party. That's the Funky Bunch. We should... Go Have we been doing that? Is that... Please tell me that's something that's occurred to us before. We have to call them the Funky Bunch. Funky Spinach! How fitting! Okay, cool. I guess they do have a dodge buff. Malfectious! Thanks for the two years on the pile, pal. Welcome back in as well. Thanks for the bear hugs. I I'm, I could probably stealth the marked guy, but I don't want to. He marked the uh, the flagellant. I almost called him the abomination again. Why in God's name did he mark the flagellant? This is not smart. He's helping me. Can we get a flummox emote? No. We don't have any emote slots, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to change something out. I'm probably just going to have to move the bomb forward. She can't really... Well, she can do a Noxious Blast from there, I guess, but he can't do shit. He's got 
got that damn bounty hunter to do exactly what he just did. I'd much rather have her do something else, so... Oh boy, that's annoying. He's gonna do that a lot. I'm, I'm sure of it. It sucks that we didn't get a horror stack in the beginning, man. That, that early miss is really bad. Hey, Liara. Well, Plague Doctor is gonna have to try to apply the debuff, and if she misses too, then we're just screwed. Okay, then, cool. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I mean, sure, why not? There we go. Oh, he resisted the debuff, though, damn it. Alright, well, if he just dies, then fuck me, I guess. Because the Sacrificial Stab does have extra death blow dealt percentage. Oh, he doesn't even have that equipped, though. He can't even target that guy, I don't think. Yeah, he can't. This looks like it's a move composition. Which is going to be annoying as fuck. Krog's Gore! Thanks for the 16 months. One back in, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm already fucked. Well, what can I do? I really should just do this, I guess. Yeah, positional teams seem like they're going to be a pain in the ass. Malfectious! Holy shit! The tier twos! So kind! More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. Thank you for that! That was extremely kind of you, buddy. Appreciate that a lot. Tier two gifted is insane. The fear consumes the mind. Yeah, no, I guess I just die. Like that. That was turn two. You got a single crit and then one death blow attack. Like we know we're dealing with additional percentage chance. But seriously, welcome to the bear pile. What am I supposed to do about that? I had no ch I had no chance. Welcome back. Hmm. Back now. The reveling throne demands its portion. I think I need to build something that's going to be a little more versatile, maybe. Because if if this is going to be something we run into a lot, we will be in bad shape. Yeah, Bounty Hunter I've seen a lot. And mostly just for the move. Just for the move skill. Yeah, of course. again for all those appreciated. At least the mark doesn't last very long. Yeah, Bounty Hunter's a good finisher too. That 50% bonus is nice. Survival yep. is a tenuous proposition in yeah. this sprawling tomb. I gotta do what I can here. These two are at a couple of resolve checks at least. So long as I have the occultist's ability to do that, we're not totally out of it. I'm gonna heal for her. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Did she still do anything there? No. Of course not. Did she even move? She moves back one. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Well, I better do that. Divided Pillow, thanks for continuing your sub. Appreciate it. I think he's putting off doing those resolve checks. Yep. 
Shuffle until you break the opponent's party and then crack open their skull is a pretty good strategy no matter what the game is. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it, huh? He's there, how you doing? You did it. The stuns too, man. This party looks good for him. Yeah, what is our stun resistance versus their percent chance to deal? Well, I mean, 80% looks fine to me. All right. Resisted the debuff at least. <clears throat> One off of the resolve check, that's terrible. Hate to see it. And still very much like to try to stack the horror. Yeah, the flagellant would have been a great source for that, but I guess he's just gonna die. That's just unnecessary. Knowing uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. Okay. Yeah, Jester's pretty tough to make work. I'm doubting we're going to see a lot of Jester play. I might as well. Now, the reveling throne demands its portion. It's 30 per hit. He busts their accuracy a ton. If she misses everything, then she can't do anything, right? I need to start doing some stress on them at some point. Cool. They don't have a dodge buff at all. That just that just sucked. I don't think the heart attacks are even gonna come into play here. I think we're just gonna get wiped. Well that's good. Necessary. Not punished if I concede, no, but I just don't want to. I'm holding out the slightest bit of hope that we can do something here. <laughs> the buffoon is flummoxed. Even though it's almost entirely unlikely. Sure is making sure he gets the right moves in, though. Yeah, you know, let's just give him a crit. Oh, cool. Yay. All right, let's see. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Blaze of glory. One more stack of horror on the boy. Frustration and fury. More destructive than a hundred cannons. There we go. Slightly disrupt you. How about that? Modify your lineup a little bit. Yeah, all right. This is no place for the weak or foolhardy. Got rid of my damn corpse. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, well. Well, I think I'm 0 for 4 online now, so this is a good look for the Darkest Dungeon guy on YouTube. This is boding well for him. I'm sure this isn't going to destroy his career in the future. I'm sure everybody watching this isn't slowly thinking to themselves, man, man, maybe this isn't the guy to watch for this content. 
perched at the very precipice. Of Maybe this oblivion. item shop guy's got a YouTube channel I could check out. I've already unsubbed. I mean, that's reasonable. Okay, we don't have to wait for him to take a full minute per turn, dude. You're up two guys, and you're going to give it that much fucking thought every round. Jesus Christ, dude. I wonder how I could best capitalize on my situation here. master is pleased. Trinkets and trophies are yours to claim. Okay. Let's try this one more time. I want to try to get it the to work. Master demands a challenger. I don't need a pep talk. I'm fine. I can get mad. Let me get mad, goddammit. I get more mad at you not letting me get mad. He's allowed to be angry sometimes, and then, and then he calms down afterward. The rabble fills to the spilling of blood. That's right, we got an emote for it. Oh, wow, look at that, a jester. Okay, interesting. That is me going first. Hmm. I still want to start with this. So what's he going to do? He's got his finale. He's got the Dirk Stab to move forward with it. He's got point blank duelist advance to shuffle this boy around. Holy Lance movement. He's got a Mace Bash equipped? What the hell? Death waits for the slightest lapse That's weird. Concentration. All right. Well, let's start with this. Impressive. I'll take it. I'll take it. Magnificent carrot! I'm instantly better! Thanks! The bits did it! No stun. Well, okay. One stun. Hmm. He doesn't have the stress heal equipped. Also, I know about the finale. Pyrotherapy. 24 months on the bare pile. Thank you very much. Welcome on back in. Both resisted the debuff, but that's a nice stack of stress on them. The first round. Flagellant wasted turn, unfortunately, but we're used to that from previous matchup. Hey, cool. I would very much like to use Abyssal Artillery again. Please let me go. No, he heard me say it. He's watching. He's watching the stream. Show yourself. At dues in the chat. Where is he? God damn it. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with this again to hopefully land the debuff. And that way she, or that way, hopefully the stun isn't as much of a factor. Dude, she's already almost to 100. That's really good. One more Reign of Sorrows might do it. It's me. It's me. I knew it. I knew you had multiple accounts in here. God damn it. I could give him actually a reclaim right now, but I'd much rather uh, force the resolve check on the Vestal. And that's going to get it. It's really good. Yeah, he's going all in on that. All right, 
I should probably heal him a little bit since he's stunned this turn. We're in the debuff too, and a crit, fun. All right, so Holy Lance plus Dazzling Light could get the kill, but I would be shocked because A, she's got an accuracy debuff, and B, he's got death blow resistance. It's the first turn. He really shouldn't die to this. He, he should not die to this. I should feel safe here, but I uh, obviously I don't. Of course I don't. But I should. There's some great new waners, yeah. There, they are some spicy waners. Stack that stress, baby. He didn't go for the occultist, but of course he still landed the stun with a minus twenty accuracy debuff. Why wouldn't he? I want to go for the greedy play of Battlefield Medicine into Abyssal Artillery and hope that that is um, sufficient to keep him up for now. Yeah, Bleed doesn't kill in this anymore. You can't kill characters with damage over time. Otherwise, people would probably exclusively do that stuff. Exposed to a killing blow. Okay. We get to do this. Ooh. Stygian Embrace? Hmm. Nah, let's get greedy. Keep stacking the horror. The Abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Creates some big problems for him. And then if he brings either of them to death's door, I can, I can bring them back. I gotta hope that I'll have enough resistance. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Thank you for the heal. Cool. Alright. It's gonna be a Jester Resolve check, and then any action with these two is gonna be a problem for him from now on. So he's a he's in a little bit of trouble. But I am too. Hey Lurth. Nice. Reeling. That's pretty good. About to break. Well, it's definitely exsanguinate time. In fact, yeah, that might be the first action we take next turn. Magnus! A moment of valor shines brightest against the backdrop of despair. Beautiful. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. Very kind. Appreciate that a lot, friend. Let's go ahead and pop that exsanguinate. From becoming unwound. Especially because that gets us another heal, which is pretty dope. Yeah, go for it. There we go. Okay. Okay, he's in he's in a little bit of trouble still. But uh what happened? Is he going? There we go. He did resist the bleed, unfortunately, yeah. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Okay, so let's see. Dirk Stab could get the kill. Back now, the reveling throne I probably sh portion. just shouldn't chance it. And just take this heal. force his hand to try to get him back down to death's door again, and if he doesn't do that, then we can get really greedy and go for another horror stack on the Vestal. Sadly, the Jester avoided the check. Of course, he's going to take this now. Yep. And now, the true test. Hold fast. 
before expire. That sets up the Holy Lance. I think I just gotta go ahead and do this. That's good. That's very good. And I can still do something pretty effective with the Plague Doctor this turn. In fact, I might Battlefield Medicine my... Flagellant. Good fucking god, dude. almost gone. I really need to get another stack of that if I can. I swear to God if you get another stun. Thank you. Holy shit. He was landing every single one. Alright, this is greedy. And of course it just... That Jester is so goddamn lucky. Your 5,000 bits gave crits to the wrong side, goddammit. No! <laughs> the buffoon is flummoxed. Yeah, Antiquarian is actually pretty viable in this mode, it, work, uh, it turns out. Works pretty good. Teetering on the brink. You really this rebalanced her for this. this. Probably end up with an exsanguinate again this turn. Nice. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Okay. Hmm. Not a problem. Should I Battlefield Medicine? I don't think I should, actually. I'm going to leave him as is. Let's go for this. No, actually, hold on. Let's try to get her to uh, die to the heart attack. Once the horror triggers enough. And this should put him in a pretty dangerous position. The thing with Finale is he has to have somebody on death's door, and I've got heals on every single character besides the, the bomb, who only has the restore, but we shouldn't have to worry too much about that. This seems good. Oh my fucking god, does he have a dodge trinket? He doesn't even have a buff. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay. That was interesting. He got rid of his horror, too. He can't go. Holy shit. Hmm. That actually works pretty well. That's going to give us another AoE heal once it's his turn. And then I can Reign of Sorrows to add more stress to the Vestal. That Jester has been so goddamn lucky, dude. <laughs> the buffoon is flummoxed. What? He doesn't have to be on Death's Door? I didn't understand that's what it meant. Act now. The reveling throne demands its portion. I thought it meant it bypassed Death's Door when they were on Death's Door. Okay. Just totally ignores it, yeah. Close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Yeah, at least he can only do it one time. I don't know. 
know if they need to nerf that, because otherwise the Jester isn't all that great, you know? Like, his effectiveness is severely reduced now. Okay, well... I'm in a bad spot here, because I don't want to just get reposted to death. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. But I guess it's probably good to keep him off the death's door. Ah, this is bad now. I think I need to have a smite on my crusader. That kind of worked out. The end approaches. Okay. Hey, nice. Pummeling. What? Oh, that's why. Because I had the exsanguinate from last time. Ha! <laughs> Fuck. Put myself in that position, I guess, didn't I? Wow, I resisted one. Alright, let's see. the best play. I feel like I should try to get, get him off death's door, I guess. Thank God I didn't misinterpret that. It does indeed only apply to his healing skills. He's probably going to cure himself, yeah. Jester refuses it. That doesn't really matter, though. Now, if I do a play grenade here, that's pretty good. The reveling throne demands its portion. Yeah, let's do that. Feels like we've been treading water for several rounds. A little bit, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling like I've fallen behind, certainly. But I'm not out of it. I really need to get a kill soon, though. And I'm hoping that what I just did gets me closer to doing that. Grievous injury. That's fine, I guess. Fear. Rapturous! I'm pretty sure I just want to do Reign of Sorrows regardless. Oh, man, that's so close. So damn close. Fuck, really? Really? One HP, 199 stress. Okay, there we go. At least we get the heart attack. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the buffoon is flummoxed. Hey, nice. Yeah, you gotta expect that. Don't you want that? Those who Would that injury, be good for us? Find it I prefer a situation die. where the Vestal died as a result of my attack. I don't know what your plan is. I don't know what your strategy was. Yeah, Alright. This is no place for the weak or the foolhardy. Let's do our best to get this Vestal kill. The ground quakes. Ah, oh, Jesus, dude. Three on death's door, and I feel like I can't even get close to killing him. Just give some barks to us, please. Yeah, sure, why not? Stress stress damage will be a factor here. As you can plainly see. It will be pretty tough for him to kill the Crusader still. But clearly we're not in the best position. Heart attack chain would be pretty sick, yeah. 
And of course, the moment he actually uh, takes a turn with one of these guys, he's going to run into more problems. That could be bad. Fuck. Help me out. Help me out. Oh, good. How quickly the time it does stress heal a little bit off that, but it shouldn't matter too much. Alright, let's try to get the double death blow. Oh my god. Oh, wait, no, she wasn't. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I could do that. I mean, they're in pretty bad shape. Wouldn't the flashing powder have been better? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, the flashing powder would have killed the Jester. You're right. Flashing powder would have killed the Jester, brought the Vestal to death, death's door. Oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Good. I can't... Oh. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Oh, it's his turn. Alright. That's a level playing field, isn't it? I'm, in, I'm actually winning now. Oh, well. Shit. Got the resolve check here. Oh, don't do it again. Thank you. Alright, I, I should heal. Or maybe not. Maybe I should only heal when he's on death's door. It's gonna be kind of tough to kill him. Right, there's one. There's the check. Maybe he'll pass turn. Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made the right move there. Because he'll attack, and then I'll just heal, and then he'll attack again and bring me to death's door, and that's about all he can do. And then I'm hoping for Barks to bring the highwayman up to a check. I'm probably going to have to start stacking Blight on the highwayman. But he won't be able to actually do a duelist advance soon. He's going to be reduced to point-blank shot once those corpses go away. Well, that's not going to be soon, though. That's going to be in a, in a while. Oh, my God. That's lucky. Okay. This is interesting. I think I just have to heal. Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, I had to expect it. Unbalanced. Is his repost up next turn? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. There's one more corpse gone. I gotta keep in mind she's gonna be less effective soon too. In fact, I should take her heal while I can do it probably. I think I want to risk this. Damn it. I wanted to take the chance, man. I wanted to stop him from being able to duel this advance. Although I guess that wouldn't have cleared the corpse there either, so it's not like it mattered all that much, I suppose. I wonder what my percentage is at right now. We'll find out. Oh my god, dude. Feeding the evil therein. Okay. In the end, we all die alone. I obviously had a higher death blow resistance there. I got unlucky. Okay. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Resolve check. The 
unfortunately I can't do anything with her in the front position, so once this corpse is gone, I'm completely screwed. One must He's got his wicked four. slice in this spot. Plus a repost, so I'm almost certainly dead. Gotta do it. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Gotta do it. That's a GG, yeah. That was a good one, at least. I felt like I got kind of screwed over by a lot of stuff, but it'll happen, you know. Can't complain too much. Wow, that was kind of convenient for him, actually. Although he didn't take his, uh... He didn't set up his repost again for some reason. Why did he not do his repost? That was weird. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be brought down to zero death blow resistance after this hit. There we go. Is a tenuous proposition in this sprawling tomb. Pretty close game. I've literally lost every online match so far. I'm having a good time at least, but like, man, it hurts. The ringmaster is pleased. I did feel I was winning the one that we disconnected from, so I can kind of take solace in that. Oh, cool. It's definitely Barrio time. Yeah, I know it's time to swap over though. As I was saying, I can only do a little bit of Bircher Circus. Birder Birder Bircher Circus. Before I have to swap over to Mario Maker. Because it's the Checkpoint League Finals, motherfuckers. I know it's Butcher Circus Day, but we still got to do the pracky. I need to make sure I'm going to get these dubs.